Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to add buttons to a selected cell in a worksheet and in this video we'll see how to add shapes to a selected range in Excel using VVA macros. So I have here some data and I want to add um, sh shapes for each of the headers here. And we're going to use the same principle we've seen with the buttons. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module here. And the procedure I'm going to call um, Add Shapes. And we're going to use variables for each of the coordinates. So as an integer, Y, W for width, and H for the height. You can see that in a moment. Um, then we will use an object variable, SHP, um, as a shape object. And, and then cell is going to be another object variable to, to loop through each cell in, in the selection or in the selected range. Then here we start a loop. And for each cell in selection, so we're going to have to select a range. For, for, so for each cell, we're going to set those coordinates. So x, x is going to be um, the cell left. Y is going to be the cell top. W will be the width. And H, the cell height. And now with that, we set uh, the object variable to the active sheet shapes and add shape method. And, and here we're going to add um, a rectangular shape. We could add any, any kind of shape. And that's MSO shape rectangle. And then X, Y, W, H, the four coordinates. OK. And now with that shape, we're going to um, add the text so the value that, that we have in the cell is going to be in the shape. So with the text frame of the shape and with characters.text, we're going to have the value of the cell. And we're also going to set uh, the, the font bold. So the bold equals true. And then... Oh, here it is, horizontal alignment. We're going to align the text in the text frame uh, to, the, to the center. And the same with the vertical alignment. So we're going to align everything to the center in the text frame. So XL center. And that should be enough for now. So let's end the width statement here. And we can now move to the next cell. So. That's it. Uh, very, very simple. Very similar to what we, what we did before with the buttons, but here um, we are looping through uh, several, several cells in the selection. So I'm gonna select a range here, and I'm selecting the headers. And I just realized that this is gonna add the shape to the entire. Um, to the entire cell, and it's going to look like like packed. So I think I'm going to just move one or two points from the left, and also two points from the top. And that will make that the width is going to be two points from the left, two points from the right. It's going to be we're going to have it to set it to minus four, and the same for the height. So that will look nicer. Let's play and see how that works. So here we go. We have added now shapes to each cell in the in the in the range, and the, cell, the 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 shapes kind of fit. You see, there are there are two points on the top and two points on the left. So it looks they don't look completely packed, and and yeah, so they are <laughs> they are exactly the same as the cell, but as a shape. We could use this in, in many different ways. But yeah, that's how we do it. And um, 
just for fun, let me show you if we select a different range, of course, we're going to add the shapes to, to that range and the shapes are going to fit the, the cell's dimension. So if we play here, you see now we add a shape for each of the, of the animals here in the animals category. Um, so, so that's how we add a shape to a selected range in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.